Today we are learning how to find the slope of a line from two points. Let's say you're asked, what is the slope of the line going through these two points? And you're given that point one is at the coordinates five comma negative three, and point two is at the coordinates 15 comma 27. Well, you have to remember that slope is measured as the change in y divided by the change in x. Now to measure the change in y, we can take y2, or the y coordinate of point two, and subtract or find the difference between y1, or the y coordinate of point one. So in this example, our y2 is 27, and we'll subtract our y1, which is negative three. When you solve 27 minus negative three, what do you get? Remember that subtracting a negative is like adding, 27 minus negative three is 30. Now we can use a similar process to find our change in x. We will take x2, or the x-coordinate of point 2, and subtract x1, or the x-coordinate of point 1. So in this problem, the x2 is 15, and we can subtract the x1, which is 5. 15 minus 5 gives us 10, and 30 divided by 10 equals what? 30 divided by 10 gives us a slope, which equals 3. Let's do one of these together. Let's say you're asked, what is the slope of a line going through these two points? Point one is at 115 comma 47, and point two is at 25 comma 32. Remember that slope is measured as change in y divided by change in x. Let's find our change in y by taking y2 and subtracting y1. Well, to start with, what is y2? y2 is the y coordinate of point two, or here, 32. Then we can subtract y1. What is y1? Well, y1 is the y coordinate of point one. Here it's 47. What is 32 minus 47? 32 minus 47 is negative 15. Now let's go and find our change in x. Well, we could do this also by taking x2 and subtracting x1. Well, in this problem, what is x2? You can see that the x coordinate of point two is 25. And then we can subtract x1. What is x1? Well, the x coordinate of point one is 115. What is 25 minus 115? That equals negative 90. Now you should do what you can to simplify this slope. Both 15 and 90 can be divided by what? Both of them could be divided by 15. If you solve this out, you get a slope of positive 1 sixth. Now it's time for you to try on your own. What is the slope of a line going through these two points? Point 1 is 5 comma 7. Point 2 is 0 comma negative 8. We'll remember to calculate the change in y and divide by the change in x. We'll take our y2 and subtract y1. Here, y2 is equal to negative 8, and we can subtract y1, which is 7. Negative 8 minus 7 is negative 15. Now let's find our change in x by doing x2 minus x1. Here, x2 is equal to 0, and x1 is equal to 5. 0 minus 5 gives us negative 5. Then you take negative 15 and divide it by negative 5 to get a slope of 3. Here's your last problem for today. What is the slope of a line going through these two points? Point 1 is at 12 comma 16, point 2, 34 comma 49. Again, our formula is change in y over change in x. We'll do y2 minus y1, which here our y2 is 49, and we'll subtract our y1, which is 16. When you solve that out, you get 33. Then we can find our change in x. We'll do x2 minus x1. Here, x2 is 34, and we'll subtract x1, which is 12. 34 minus 12 equals 22. Now you can solve this by simplifying 33 and 22. Both of these can be divided by 11, and so your answer is the slope is 3 halves. Now one final note is when calculating slope, you want to leave your answer as a fraction and not convert it into a mixed number. The reason why is in this form, it's very easy to see that the change in y is 3 and the change in x is 2. Once you convert to a mixed number, this becomes less clear. So for slope, leave your answers in fraction form. From today, remember to calculate the change in y over the change in x as y2 minus y1 
over x2 minus x1. 